Hi, so let's see a little about modding or reverse engineering. So these are the apps that you actually need. Uh, I use empty manager and dev tools a lot and this is for signature kill. Uh, in this I'll show you one of the method that is used for modding. Uh, it is usage of hex code to find the method and we'll take a very simple app uh, which has for less protection so that it is easier to understand generally uh, reverse engineering is like uh, crime scene investigation you have bits and pieces of code and you have to find your way through to find the killer code and then edit it so let's see one of the apps so while filming this uh, video i did not have a decent screen recorder so i'll show you how to mod easy screen recorder by recording the screen using easy screen recorder so this app has ads and purchases we'll install it first so whenever we install an app uh, a .apk file which is an executable for android is ex executed uh, so our android has a virtual machine just like uh, jvm and uh, it executes that code so actually what happens is uh, an app is basically like a dot zip file you can rename a particular application to dot zip let's see and see the code inside but you cannot open this code because it is compiled so it has folders like rest this will have resources uh, layouts drawables these are like front end things that we need apart from this resources uh, there will be assets uh, assets are like extra resources which are not uh, mentioned in resources.erc so uh, this is an important part and classes.dex so this is the main compiled part so all classes uh, come into this dex file uh, they are uh, like java uh, converts uh, our actual java code into byte code this uh, android virtual machine will convert it into the alvic byte code so what we do is uh, when we get an application that is a executable file we'll first extract it let me show so this is the app that we downloaded we'll extract it we'll take it to our working directory now uh, we can open it and see this is the code of the application so first we'll remove all the useless stuff, analytics, crash analytics, etc. And keep only the things that we want. So Android manifest is like the brain. Classes are basically all the classes in Java are compiled into these two. Uh, there can be many classes files. So and this is important. So rest of this I'll just you know delete. Yeah. So this is our actual code that we need. In this, uh, now we'll uh, investigate inside the application. Let's go over here. And, uh, okay. okay, so first we'll analyze this app. So this app has this diamond thingy, which uh, when you click on, it shows this VIP page to upgrade or donate, which will take us to Google Play uh, money handling. So what we'll do is we'll analyze what populating it. We'll use a layout inspector and inspect this. So in this, if you see, uh, this is a button which uh, which will be populated when you click on it. We'll take the hex code. So this is like the resource that uh, is used for this particular button. And on click of that button, uh, there is a set. There should be a set on click listener which must be taking us to this activity. So in logic, uh, if we if somehow we disable this or find the activity that has this particular button, then we'll be able to see where the code is. Like we'll be able to disable it or make it a uh, premium. So let's find that. OK, so let's start modding. Uh, now we'll find uh, where the hex code is. Uh, this is the code. So it is at four places, and if you remember, it was the home activity that was populating everything. So we'll just go through the code once. Uh, it is on create options menu. 
and it is taking a menu as a parameter uh, further it is returning a boolean value so whoever calls this method will get a boolean output next what uh, actually the method is doing is it is uh, taking this menu and it will be inflating it and that will be stored into this v0 register next it will take uh, this value uh, we will see what that value is uh, just a minute So that is actually the main settings uh, and it is basically taking that main settings into account, inflating that and performing a certain check. So this is basically a check. We will see what this check is uh, after seeing the entire code. So next it will move the value of this check uh, into V0 and, and now it will basically uh, check this value this is basically a menu item uh, i saw in the xml code and uh, it will basically find that and put it in this field now the developer is checking for one thing if v0 equal to 0 uh, execute condition 1d else execute this so condition 1d has this menu items so basically it is that uh, when we clicked on the diamond button we got that play activity where it was asking us to upgrade so if v0 is set as 0 it will go to that uh, it will basically show us that page else it will set visible to z z is v2 so basically it will set uh, v2 uh, no sorry uh, it will set the button to v uh, 0 0 that is uh, it will disable the button basically so the code says that uh, if uh, v0 is equal to 0 show us the page else uh, just disable the button so we'll go to that initial check and see what that initial check was doing so in this basically it is checking shared preferences now shared preferences stores uh, whatever you buy or do uh, some activity like uh, removing something or adding something that is stored in the back end so get shared preferences is used to fetch the preferences that we have like if you want night mode uh, and there is a button to switch on night mode that is also sh uh, stored in shared preferences so what this will do is take that value and compare using get boolean over here so in this uh, it it is checking some strings so it must be like uh, if user is premium and uh, that value is true then return one else return zero so that is what the get boolean function will do so we'll, what we'll do is will ensure that uh, always this will return to so just a second so here what we did was uh, the code was checking backend uh, to see if the user is premium and returning one or zero based on that so wherever it was storing that value we made it as one so it will always return true so by this logic the user will be premium so the button will not be shown so let's compile this and check our code okay let's install this Oops. first i need to uninstall the initial app okay. this is because the signatures will be different uh, Google signature is different from my test signature and now we will see that it is paid so uh, there is no VIP member activity and there is no add so everything is allowed and it's a premium